welcome to the Queen's Kingdom. The Children's Theater Association of San Francisco brings to you today their final performance of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They have been bringing live musical children, live musical children, live musical theater to the children of the San Francisco Bay Area for 85 years. And this season, thank you. And this season, almost 6,000 school children have seen the performance of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs at absolutely no cost to the schools. This is made possible because of our ticket buying patrons, such as yourself. So thank you for buying tickets to today's performance. So before the, the performance begins, let me point out the four emergency exits, two on each side of the theater. If you need to use the restroom, go back through the lobby, through the same doors you used to enter the theater. Also, all cell phone devices are to be turned off during the performance. And now at the end of the performance, we will have two special announcements. And when you go back out into the lobby, the cast and characters will be there to sign autographs. So bring your programs with you. They will be ready and waiting. The most important thing is we want you to have fun. So laugh and clap, maybe even whistle. Because remember, when you have fun, we have fun. Now, let us present Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Stewpot. <laughs> oh, there was a time. I remember when we used to ride for miles and miles, faster than the wind. <laughs> there was a time at... <laughs> but I'd better stop at the beginning. Stick. I had two sisters, Letitia and Lucretia. Our daddy did a big favor for the local wizard and in return he granted each of us our heart's desire. I wanted to have magical powers. <laughs> Lucretia, she said she wanted power too, only she wanted to be a queen, the most beautiful queen in the world. And Letitia, foolish girl, all she wanted was to get married and have babies. Well, believe it or not, all our wishes came true. I moved to the south and became a powerful witch. Lucretia became queen of the north. And Letitia settled down, married, and had a little girl child called Snow White. Well, when I was on one of my trips around the world, Snow White's mama and daddy died. And so she was sent to live with the queen. <laughs> she took in the little princess all right, but she made her work around the castle doing all the hardest and dirtiest chores. You see, Snow White was too pretty, and my sister never could stand competition. But after a few years, some strange things began to happen, and I needed a little help from my sister. <laughs> so I sent her a pack 
package, a little gift. <laughs> Where did it come from? Sir Silly and I were standing outside the gate keeping guard like we're supposed to when suddenly there was a gigantic puff of smoke. Puff, puff! And then, like magic, there it was! Ta-da! My goodness, mercy me! This is mysterious. I think it's suspicious. Suspicious, Lady Penelope? Why suspicious? Sir Pompous, everyone hates the Queen. Who would ever give her a present? I suppose that is true. No one likes the Queen because the Queen is mean. Well, I don't like her, nor do we. Worst Queen I've ever seen. Got fooling. No one likes the Queen. She calls us foolish maids. She frets and fumes and bosses us and treats us all like slaves. Well, that may be true, yet someone has sent Her Majesty a gift. I know what I'd like to send her. Yeah, me too. I send a package of poison cakes. How about a big box of rattlesnakes? I send a gown fit for a bride with itching powder sprinkled inside. <laughs> No one likes a queen. I wish that she'd turn green. She makes us work 12 hours a day and gives us very little pay and taxes all our pay away. So no one. I said no one. Nobody likes the queen. And we all have very good reasons. in that package. It, it, it's a bomb! Oh, no, it could oh, be. Oh, yes, it could be. <laughs> now it's much too big. Well, maybe it's a big bomb! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, a big bomb! Run, Majesty, hide for your life. It's a bomb, and it's going to go off any second. Oh. Sir Pompus to Pompus, are you sure it's a bomb? Yes, Your Majesty, I... Well, Is it uh, kicking? Oh, well, I, um... Yeah. I don't know. Would you please go and find out? Yes, Your Majesty. What? What? Your Majesty, it isn't ticking. It's snoring. Of all the nonsense, unwrap that package right now. Oh, oh, be careful, be careful. Gentle, gently. Yes, Your Majesty, it's easy, easy. Well, it's about time you let me out of that blasted box. What a wretched way to travel all crated up like a piece of furniture. But you're a mirror. I am a magic looking glass. I see all things that come to pass. I'll tell you that which I can see if but a rhyme you put to me. Pompous, where did it come from? Uh, it suddenly appeared outside the gates, Your Highness. Puff, puff, puff. But who sent it? It appears to be able to talk. Perhaps you should ask it. Very well. Who sent you here? If you are addressing me, your sentences in rhyme must be. Answer me, Mirror. I will answer any time if your question is in rhyme. In rhyme? Pompous. A rhyme. Uh, mirror, 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 make it clear. Who was it that sent you here? <laughs> From the kingdom of the south I was sent forth, a gift from the witch wicked to her sister in the north. From my sister? I wonder what she wants. <laughs> ah, magic mirror grand and tall, am I not the fairest of us all? In all the world and under the sun, you are the fairest, but for one. Well, that's the whole world. I suppose there could be one. 
I only care about my kingdom anyway. Magic mirror tall and grand, am I not the fairest in this land? Queen, you have a beauty rare, but there is one who's far more fair. How dare you? Don't you know I'm the queen? Who could be more beautiful than me? Well, answer me. Talk, you miserable piece of glass, or I'll shatter you into a hundred thousand slivers. Uh, a rhyme, your majesty? A rhyme? A rhyme. Oh, very well. Mirror, mirror in your frame. Let me know this beauty's name. Her heart is pure. Her eyes are bright. Her hair is black. Her name's Snow White. <gasps> Snow White? Snow White? The princess? You'd think with all the chores I give her, she wouldn't have time to be beautiful. Fetch the princess Snow White. Bring her to me at once. Bring the princess Snow White. 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 Who? Snow White. Did someone call? Oh. The rest of you, get out, out. You sent for me, your majesty. I know I haven't finished the third floor yet, but the second was quite dirty, and I've been working since this morning. Never mind about that. Come over here. I want you to stand in front of this mirror. Oh, my goodness. I must look a fright. Stop that. I want the mirror to see you just as you are. Rags cannot hide this beauty fair. Snow White has charms beyond compare. Why, thank you. I... Of all the nonsense, just wait until I get my hands on that sister of mine. She probably sent this warped piece of glass just to insult me. Who are you? I am a magic looking glass. I see all things that come to pass. I'll tell you that with that which I can see, if but a rhyme you put to me. A rhyme? A rhyme. Now let me think. Oh, magic glass, all else above. I wish to see my one true love. I have come so far from my kingdom in the east. I've been searching for months and months. Where can you be? I feel you near, and yet I cannot find you. Somewhere in a different part of the forest, there's a princess hidden away. Every glen and glade of the forest And I sing to her every day I don't know much about you Don't even know your name But your eyes are bright as crystals Your lips as red as flame I feel you in my heart and yet I do not even know your name Envious? Why should I be envious? Turn green? Not me, I'm the queen Jealous? No point in being jealous all I feel is hatred in my heart for that young upstart. Snow White, all that goodness, all that beauty in one package. All right, if you think you can be prettier than me, I'll fight. I've got powers, I've got methods, I can call on who's the prettiest. Jealous? I'm not jealous. Envious? Not me. I don't know much about you, but I like the way you speak. You have quite a charm.
Please, show me when we two shall meet. The spell is released by a prince from the east when you need him the most and expect him the least. A prince from the east? Da -da 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 -da. What do you think of my brand new wig? I would say it's rather ratty, makes you look a trifle batty. <laughs> mirror, mirror, big and tall. Do you think I'm pretty at all? You may be wise, you may be witty. One thing you are not is pretty. Snow White, Snow White. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's you, Mirror. How could you lie to me? Hmm. Mirror, mirror, blind as a bat. How could you tell a lie like that? I can only say what's true. Snow White is more beautiful than you. Hmm. Mirror, mirror, verbalize. What would be if Snow White dies? Then in all the world I see no one lovelier than thee. Oh, well, that's it then. Snow White must die. Oh, no! What was that? Did you say something? It was not I who made a sound. To see who did, just look around. Oh. Aha! Tattletail! Spying on me, were you? Oh, no, Your Majesty. I... But you heard it all. Uh -huh. So you must swear to me that no one else will ever know. Oh, but I... I... Papa! Oh, oh, no, I never... Mm. I swear I'll never tell you. I'll never tell truly. <laughs> Of course you won't. It will be our little secret, eh? <laughs> and to make sure you keep it well, you will do the deed. Oh, no, Your Majesty, not me. I, I, I couldn't. Uh, I don't even kill the, the fleas. I, I pick off the royal dogs. I, I just catch them and, and set them free in the garden. <sighs> Pompous, bring me that axe. Tomorrow, you will take Snow White into the woods and chop off her head. Then we'll see who's the most beautiful around oh, here. Oh, no, Your Majesty, I couldn't. I wouldn't. She's just a young girl. Do you know what will happen if you do not? No. Well, I will be in a most unpleasant mood. I will be in such an unpleasant mood that I will have to tie you to the rack. And then I'll... <laughs> and perhaps, and finally, of course, none of this will happen if you do as you are told. Now, get out of my sight. Go. Go. Isn't it pretty in the woods this afternoon? Everything is so fresh and green. Well, I think there's something strange about it. It's perfect for a picnic. I think it's strange. The, strange. the lovely afternoon? No, you silly goose. The queen taking us out on a picnic. And the way she's been so good and kind lately, especially to Snow White. Oh, maybe she was just sorry for her outburst yesterday. Yes, and trying to make up for it by being nice. Oh, Matilda, how many times have you seen the queen be nice? <laughs> well, there was, um, um, never. That's why I think there's something very wrong. Lovely today, my dear. I must say, that magic mirror certainly was right. You are just about the prettiest thing alive. Why, <laughs> thank you, your majesty. Now, why don't you go over there beyond those trees and pick some of those flowers you like so much? Yes, of course. All right, you idiots, where's the picnic? Come on, be rowdy. Enjoy yourselves in your quaint medieval ways. <laughs> Sir Pompous, a moment, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Now's the time. She's off by herself. Go to it. But, Your Majesty. No stalling. Remember, if you do not, I'll... Now, get going. Sir Pompous, why don't you go into the woods and chop us down a nice big tree? I feel like a roaring fire. But well, Your Majesty, it's 80 degrees at least. 
Nevertheless, I want a fire. Yes, my lady. You startled me. Oh, I'm sorry, Princess. I, I didn't mean to. Well, here, why don't you take this lovely flower for your coat? No, no, I, I couldn't. That is um, the queen. Oh, yes, I know. The queen doesn't like pretty things like flowers. I don't quite understand it. She's so beautiful herself. Oh, frankly, my dear, she is beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, oh, oh Princess. Something awful is going to happen to me. Sir Pompous, what's wrong? Uh, the, the queen, she she ordered me to um do something for her. She said if I didn't do it, she would uh... Oh my goodness, that is awful. We mustn't let it happen. Why don't you just do whatever it is the queen wants you to do? Oh, no, no. I, princess, no, I couldn't. You see, it, it's just too, too horrible to, to even think about. Oh, Sir Pompous, whatever it is, it couldn't be that bad. Why don't you tell me what it is you have to do and I'll help you with it. Oh, no, 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 Princess. Uh, uh, you see, um, she ordered me to um, do away with you. Me? Why me? Have I done something to offend her? Oh, no. You've done nothing. She takes offense because you are more beautiful than she. But who's to say each person sees beauty in their own way? Oh, Princess, I cannot harm you. I'll, I'll just have to go back and face the consequences. <laughs> well, Sir Pompous, calm down. Perhaps... Yes! Perhaps there is a way out of this. If the queen thinks you've killed me, then you'll be safe. You'll pretend to kill me, and I'll run away deep into the woods where she'll never find me. But it's so dangerous in the woods. I think for me, it is more dangerous at the castle. Uh, Lucinda, is there any more lemonade? Well, why don't you just go look for yourself? And it's Lady Lucinda to you. Can you imagine the queen wanting a fire in this heat? You wouldn't be so hot if you didn't wear all that face powder. Face powder? Me? <laughs> well, I just naturally glow. Well, I think there's something suspicious about it. My face? Ah, uh, Penelope, for once you're right. This is serious. So is the condition of Lucinda's face. Oh, I you little... <laughs> Stop it, you two. Do you want the queen to get suspicious of what we're up to? No, no, of course not. Uh, Penelope, darling, what are we up to? We're trying to find out what the queen is up to. That's what we're up to. Uh, <clears throat> Ixnay, Ixnay. The inquiry. What? what? What was that you said, Penelope? What? What did you say, Lady Penelope? Um, I was just saying, um, what a lovely afternoon it is today, isn't it, Your Majesty? Oh, yes, it's charming. Really, quite charming. Oh, oh goodness, what was that? Oh, what a glorious day this is. I feel so good. I feel like singing. Oh, the buzz of a fly and a flea, and the sting of a bumblebee, and the bat swooping down from a tree. How I love nature. The pungent smell of a skunk, and a tree with a rotten trunk, and a bug think I'll take a duck. How I love nature. Poison oak and ivy, thriving in the weeds. Slugs and snails and ants, that's all the person needs. Oh, the animals on the prowl. The great big grizzlies growl. The lovely warthogs covered with warts. The music that I hear when a warthog snorts. La 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 la. The sounds of the forest delightful. La 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 la. Excuse me, Your Majesty. It sounds like somebody's in trouble to me. Nonsense. It's the call of the wild. Nature at play. La 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 la. Ah! Don't you think we should send somebody to investigate? Stay.
stay right here, all of you. Every fungus makes me cry, and the vultures circle in the sky. I adore them all, to deny it would be a shame. For all that ugliness reminds me how beautiful for all your kindness. I shall never forget you. Oh, oh, they've all gone back to the castle now. Now for your sake and mine, run, princess, run! Run, princess, run. Run as fast as you can. Don't stop for anything. Don't speak to anyone. Danger is everywhere. Run, princess, run! It's full of things that never sleep. So hide, princess, hide. Find a place you can stay. Go as fast as your legs will carry you. Do not linger, rest or carry you. Must be away by the end of the day. The queen won't stop until the deed is done. makes no difference. You sound like you don't know whether you're coming or going. Hey, that's not fair. We know we're going. We're coming. Going. Coming. Going. Coming. Hold it. Hold it right there. Go and tell the queen, her sister, which wicked is here. But if we hold it right here, how can we go and tell the queen? My sister must be a very unhappy woman. Never mind. I'll go find her myself. Ta-da! Ta-da! The, the queen! queen! Oh, sister, how nice to see you. I was just about to consult that um, interesting present you sent me. Oh, so you like my little gift, eh? Just what every queen needs. You know, it's very rare and expensive. In fact, it's the only one of its kind. I found it on my last journey and I immediately thought of you. I said to myself, wicked, I said. Who do you know who uses a mirror at least 20 times a day and could probably use a new one? Enough, what do you want? Oh my, my, we're a bit short on the social graces. Where's the warm welcome for your dear sister whom you haven't seen in 15 years? <laughs> 
All right. Here it is. I need you to do something for me, a small favor, which you will do immediately. For if you do not, I will cast my most awful spell on you. Remember number 33? <laughs> what is it you want? Why, that weird wizard who gave me my witchery must have been a wee bit wacky, for my witchery is woefully fading out. I'm worried. Well, so what? <laughs> you want to worry, too. After all, it was the same wizard who gave you your beauty. Notice any creeping crow's feet? Any laugh lines when you're not laughing? As you can see, my beauty is beautifully intact. Well, I have spent months and months traveling the world to find a spell to save my powers. And I finally found one. Only there's one key ingredient that's missing, and you're going to get it for me. Oh, I am? What is it? It's, uh, it's, oh, wait, wait, wait just a minute. I, I, I've written it down. Ah, here it is. I need a locket from the pocket of a princess who is pure. A locket from the pocket of a princess who is pure? Mm -hmm. A locket from the pocket from the princess who is pure. And who do we know who keeps in her palace a princess who is pure? And what does that princess have in a pocket over her heart? So get it, sister, or it's number 33. <laughs> Dear sister, I'd be only too happy to get you Snow White's locket. Only, only she's not here right now. She's gone out for the day, for two days. What, she might not be back until next week. I know you always keep her around here to do your chores. <sighs> yes. But how will I get that locket? It's the only thing Snow White has of her mother's. She wears it right over her heart. She'd never part with it. I don't care how you get it. Just get it. And soon, my powers will be gone tomorrow by sunset. And I promise you, if you do not get the locket, the very last spell I will cast will be number 33. <laughs> Oh, but dear sister, I don't know how I'll... Why have... don't you try while she's sleeping? She does sleep, doesn't she? Oh, more than you know, sister. More than you know. Well, I'll be back tomorrow morning for the locket. <laughs> Just remember, number 33. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my badness. Oh, whoa. Pompous, Sir Pompous. Pompous, where are you? Oh, woe is me. If only I had known. If only it were a few short hours ago. I, uh, uh, uh. Pompous, Pompous. Did you do the deed? Did you do as I asked? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I tried, but she's so young and pure. Do you mean to tell me you did not kill Snow White as I ordered? Well, we must, you will be punished. But first, we must find her. Now, where is she? Uh, I don't know. We must find her. I need that locket. I mean, I need to look at her again. Oh, dear Sir Pompous, I'm so sorry for what I have done. I just want to apologize. Won't you help me find Snow White? <laughs> Dear madam, I, I sincerely wish I could, but she ran into the forest. Why, she must have been eaten by, by wild animals. Oh, well then at least now I'm the fairest in the... Of course. Mirror, mirror in the hall. Who's the fairest of us all? I never thought you'd ask. Queen, you have a beauty rare, but Snow White still is more the fair. Aha, so she lives. Oh, Sir Pompous, Sir Pompous, I feel so much better knowing that dear Snow White is still with us. But now, I need to be alone. Oh, yes, sir. Alone. Of course, sir. Hmm. Mayor, tell me, do you know, where did Princess Snow White go? If the princess you would see, simply cast your glance through me. Can't go wrong with a heart.
Parrot songs? Oh, Peeper, I know. Air, air, air. Give it to me. It can't be that hard. <laughs> What's that, Mouse? Mouse thinks this must be a happy tune. It's making everybody laugh. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> ah, five o'clock. Sunset. Time for dinner. Sorry, Keeper. It's not quite ready. Well, I don't know if I'm ready for it. It smells awful. I call it leftovers once removed. Why? Removed? Yeah. Leftovers left over from yesterday's leftovers. Yeah. Our life is so boring. Even our food is boring. Oh, it's so sad. Nothing ever, ever happens. You want excitement? Well, excitement means trouble, and we don't want any of that around here. No siree, no trouble. We don't want any Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Gee whiz! It's a girl! A girl, great. A girl. A girl? No, girl, who let you in here? Now go, shh, shh, shh. Get, shh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Keeper. Where are your m manners? Good evening, miss. Oh, Balderall. Good evening, gentlemen. What can we do for you? I hope you can help me. Here comes trouble. Hush, Keeper. Now, miss, what's the matter, miss? Would you like something to eat? Oh, yes, I would. I am very hungry and very tired. But far worse than that, there's someone trying to kill me. Bam! Oh, how perfectly awful. Now, miss, why don't you start from the beginning? Won't you sit and have something to eat? Thank you. Thank you very much. Ask her who she is. I am Snow White. No. What? The royal princess? Oh, so you know who I am? Oh, yes. Then you probably know about my aunt, the queen. <laughs> mm. She's the mean one. I should say so. She tried to have me killed. <gasps> you see, she thinks I'm more beautiful than she is. Oh, but you're very pretty. Well, thank you very much. But it hardly seems worth getting killed for, don't you think? So I escaped and ran into the forest. And here I am, only now. I don't know where I'll go. <laughs> Hello, who are you? This is Mouse, miss. He says he'd like you to stay with us. Thanks, Mouse. Sure, we can make some room. And there's plenty to eat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this balance sheet. We can't afford any freeloaders. Everyone works and earns their keep. Well, what do you do? We have. A mine, and everyone has a job. I pick my pack, I grind it up, I cut my sweet. I keep the time and books. Sure yes. yes. And he cooks. I pick her, I'm packer. As you can see, we're brothers. No one can tell us apart. Our muscles bulge, our hands are thick, but you don't have to be very smart. Do pick my pack. I grind it up, I cut, I swing. I keep the time and books. Yes. And he cooks. I'm grinder. I grind the rocks until they're small all day. I hear them crunching when I go through my daily grind. Food is always on my mind, but when I stop to think of munching. The others decided, since I like to eat so much, that I should be the cook. Though I must admit, I think I'm better at eating than cooking. Okay, Cutter, your turn. Oh, dear, dear, I've got to do it right. I can't make a mistake. I've got to cut the jewels. They cannot chip or bite. I must be calm. I must be cool. I carefully grab my cutter's tool. I place it on the stone and then... Aha! B -b 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 Perfect! You think you have problems. I'm woeful. I keep the mind tidy. All day long I sweep. And while I sweep, I weep. They say it's just the emerald dust that irritates my eye. But everything is all so sad, I simply have to cry. <laughs> I 
We call him Mouse, we'll tell you why Cause like a mouse he's quiet and shy He doesn't have a tail, for cheese he's never cared But he scampers like a mouse when he gets scared oh! What are you doing to my mouse? Go ahead, show her. <laughs> I keep the time and I keep the books. I've made production double, but the hardest thing task that I have is keeping them out of trouble. I think we got it now. You pick, you pack, you wind it up, you cut, you sweep. Here I go doing chores again. You'd think a royal princess would have an easier time of it. Well, that is one thing I have quite a bit of experience with. Can you dust? Can you sweep? Can, Can you keep household accounts? Can you sew? Can, Can you, you cook? cook? Yes, I can do all that and more. I think we should call a meeting of the board of directors. Good idea, Gwinder. I hereby call this meeting to order. All in favor say aye. 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 Mouse, that leaves you, Keeper. Minimum wage and one hour for lunch. That should be quite sufficient. Aye, then. Ayes have it. Meeting adjourned. Yay! is the scullery maid for a gang of miners. <laughs> and to think she learned all of that here at the castle. I shall have to pay a call on the dear Princess Snow White. Soon, very soon. <laughs> seen the Princess Snow White. She brings me my tea every morning. She didn't. I look for her everywhere. I can't find her. I'm telling you there's something very strange happening. Penelope, you always think there's something strange happening. Look. Oh, look. There's that magic mirror. I wonder if it really works. Well, I don't know. It said that, <clears throat> it said that Snow White was the most beautiful in the land, and I, for one, think there is another of equal beauty. You do indeed, Lucinda. Pray tell, who might that beauty be? <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking of myself. <laughs> Perhaps I'll just go ask the mirror, see what it says. You wouldn't dare. Think of what happened if the queen catches you. She's not around, is she? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, tall and grand. Who is the fairest in the land? In all the world of beauty fair, Snow White is beyond compare. Why, looking glass, I disagree. What makes her more fair than me? This is true and always was. Beauty is as beauty does. I am a mirror, as are you. You are the mirror of all you do. When you look at yourself in a mirror, do you sense that something's amiss? Next time you look at yourself, consider this. Every deed you do will be shining through. Every trick you play, every word you say reflects on you As you look at life, you will see it's true You're the mirror of every deed that you do Every deed you do, every deed I do, will be shining through Every trick you play, every word you say, 
how's it? Gotcha! Good morning, Wicked Dear. Oh my, you're in good spirits. Did you get the locket? It's practically on its way. All I need is an easy bit of help from you. What kind of help? I need a good, strong sleeping potion. You see, Snow White and I have a bit of a falling out, so I can't just ask her for the locket. And she's a very... Knockout drops, eh? <laughs> How will you persuade her to take them? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, I need a disguise of some sort, a very good one. I can handle that. I'll need to disguise my appearance and my voice. Here it is. Inkle Binkle, Fuzzle Guzzle. Binkle Binkle, Numera. Uh, go and find yourself some old clothes. And in a moment, you will find yourself a different woman. <laughs> Let's see. Sleeping potion. Sleeping potion. Oh, I like my parsley yellow. I like my apples green. I'm a woman of special taste. If I don't get what I want, I get mean. Well, that's what I need. Special powers. cared for working. I don't do exercise. I'd rather be taking it easy. Sighing contented sighs. That's why I must have special powers. Ah, slipping and slopping. Ah, here it is. The world's best sleeping potion. One drop guaranteed to make you sleep for one day. Now, for something to put it on, <gasps> how about a nice green apple? I'd better make it red. She probably doesn't have my cultured tastes. Now, for the ingredients. One ripe root from a rare Russian radish. Two teeny tiny teeth from a tan tufted titmouse. Three bees knees. Woo! Bees' knees are hard to hang on to. <laughs> now, mix it all together and stir. Oh, wouldn't it be horrid to just be ordinary, to always get the pits and never get the cherry? I don't have to worry because I have my very special power. to worry because I have my very special powers. Yeah. Now, to say magic words, that's my favorite part. Inkle, binkle, fuzzle, guzzin, Rip Van Winkle. That ought to do it. Mmm, tastes good. But I wonder if it... <laughs> sister, sister, I don't think it's working. I've changed my clothes and I don't feel any, 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 any. <laughs> Madam, please, you frighten me. You're as ugly as can be. It's only temporary. I won't give my sister her precious locket back until she returns me to my normal ravishing beauty. Wicked, wicked, wake up. Oh, it must be the potion. I guess it works. Wicked, wicked, no. you've got to tell me. What do I do? Oh. Mm. On the apple. Just a drop. Just a drop, eh? What about two or three or four? Perhaps if I use a little more, Snow White will sleep forever.
What helps you get the feel of the day breakfast? What helps you get the wheel of the day to move? It's breakfast, 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 breakfast. So now we're feeling cheerful and strong because of breakfast. And now you have us singing along with our breakfast. We've done without forever so long. We've been sad. But this is the finest breakfast we ever had. Will you stay with us and cook for us forever? For a while, but not forever. You see, there's a handsome prince who's searching for me. There is? Yes, there was a magic mirror, and I saw my prince. Ah, uh, kid, you're dreaming. No, there really was. Eight o'clock, time to go to work. Okay. Now, you can dream whatever you want. Just don't forget to make dinner and don't talk to any strangers. I won't. And don't eat anything or drink anything that anyone offers you. And, 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 and don't open the door for anyone. Promise? I promise. Cutter's right. You better stay locked in the cottage. Don't even open a window. I promise all of you, I will be very, very careful. Now, go on to work. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to make your troubles go. Just keep on singing all day long. A rhyme. Um, mirror, mirror, have you seen our most attractive royal queen? Moments ago, the queen I did see, but she's not the woman she used to be. Oh, I absolutely agree. Frankly, I think she's going a bit mad. She said she wishes to apologize to Snow White, but I don't believe her. Do you? Hello. Oh, this rhyming gets tiresome. Um. Tell me, tall and glassy stranger, is the princess still in danger? She's in more danger than she's been. She must fear the royal queen. A mirror mirror is shiny bright. Can you lead me to Snow White? I can show the path that's true if I come along with you. What? Me? Cart around a piece of furniture? I'm the royal prime minister. I sit on furniture, I don't move it. Besides, there is one more problem. I'm too frightened to go. There is something I must tell. I am quite afraid as well. You are? Oh, good grief. I'm shaking like a leaf. If we are fearful of resistance, then we must obtain assistance. That's it. Reinforcements. Sir Silly, Sir Clumsy. Thank you, Mirror. I feel better already. Hi, Pompey, what's up? Uh, Pompey, indeed. Gentlemen, we must rescue the Princess Snow White from the clutches of the evil queen. Okay, sure. Hey, wait a minute. Are you crazy? The queen would sure be sore with us if we did that. She'd punish us for sure. Yeah. What's your knights? Where's your, your chivalry, your, your sense of honor? Hiding behind our chicken feathers? Nonsense. You must dare. You must risk. 
You must fly. Why look at me? I am cool, carefree, and confident. I am brave, brassy, and bold. Watch it, stranger. I do not know fear. When I see danger, I laugh at it and scoff at it and toss it on its ear. Off to rescue the Princess Snow White. <gasps> you are? Not without us, you're not. Very well then, follow me. We are cool, carefree, and confident. We are brave, grassy, and bold. Watch it, stranger. I do not know fear. When I see danger, I laugh at it and scoff at it and toss it on its ear. We have fun. Cleaned the cottage. I've made the dinner. Now what shall I do? I can't go outside. I can't even open a window. Oh, I might as well be a prisoner. Oh, magic mirror, you said my true love would come when I needed him most. Well, he should have been here by now. Somebody out there? It's just me, a poor old settler woman. I don't feel very well. I think I'm going to faint. Won't you please help a poor dying old lady? Oh dear, I know I'm not supposed to open the door for anybody. Should I open the door? No. But surely this old peddler woman couldn't harm me. I'm afraid if I don't, she might. Ah! Here, please, drink some of this. Oh, what a good child you are. I feel better already. You've been so kind to me. I want to give you a present. How about this nice shiny apple? Thank you very much, but I mustn't accept any food from strangers. Oh, but look at this apple. And I would feel so good if you would just take a little bite. Should I take a bite? No! I'm sorry, it does look wonderful, but I can't. I made a promise. Oh, but please, you wouldn't want to upset me, would you? You're a dear, sweet grandmother, but you see, I made a promise. But look at this pretty apple. Doesn't it make you the least bit hungry? Well, as a matter of fact, I am hungry. Then I insist. You must have this apple. You need it to keep up your strength. But I mustn't. I made a promise. Hmm. There must be someone you're very fond of to make you keep your promises so well. Well, there is someone. Perhaps there is someone you love? Love him? No. I just made him up. You know, there are some apples with magical powers. They show you what you wish to see. They tell you what you wish to know. All you have to do is take a bite. Can it truly? Mm-hmm. Will it really? Yes, my dear. Just take one bite and I know someone in this room is going to be very happy. I must find out if he's real. <gasps> I told you, I 
was right. Someone in this room is very happy. Now we'll see what that magic mirror has to say. Oh, I almost forgot the locket. Dinner, the most important meal of the day is our dinner. What's up so sweet and sweet of the day we need dinner? Look, Snow White, Princess Snow White. Snow White. Oh, princess, are you all right? Oh, I just knew something awful would happen. I just knew it. Oh. Quick, quick, get her some water. Do something. Oh, I'm afraid it's too late. You mean? She's... Oh, Mouse, will you stop that fooling around? This is no time to play. Wait, he's trying to tell us something. People. <coughs> SpongeBob? <laughs> Spider-Man! People from the palace. Come on, boys. They may be the ones who did this to Snow White. What? Get them. But I think you already found her. You mean you didn't do this to her? Of course not. We were trying to warn the princess about the queen. Oh, poor, poor Snow White. Rum, rum, hey, rum, rum, hey, rum, rum, hey, rum, rum. was just a dream. Oh, my princess! Oh, my princess! You must be the prince! Well, I am a prince. How did you know? Ah, she told us about you. But you didn't believe her. Hush, hush, hush. Even now, she's beautiful. Oh, look! She has something between her lips. A, a piece of apple, I think? My princess is moving! Oh, look at her. Wonderful! She's alive! What happened? Uh, I, I remember there was an old woman and she gave me something to eat. But that's all I remember. It must have been the queen. There has to be a way. To get even with the queen. Oh, ahem. One moment, please. Mirror, mirror, can you say, will the queen return this way? As water's wet and fire burns, I tell you now the queen returns. Good, quick, everyone hide. Good. you to do a little thing. Get a little locket from a defenseless little girl. Now it's almost five o'clock. Soon my powers will be gone. Quiet, sister. Look, there she is. Uh -huh. oh, gotcha. Wait, hey. Uh -huh. Thomas, what is the meaning of this? What are you doing here with these ruffians? Tell them to let 
me go. Hi, Miss. Your wicked plot did not succeed. And now you're punished for your deed. Oh, never mind. My magic powers will get us out of this. At the path. Uh, ignomic. Oh, where's my book? Ah, here it is. Athen, Pathen, Ixen, Pickthen, Hoozle, Woozle, make them sick then. Five o'clock, sunset, time for dinner. Oh no, it's five o'clock. My powers are gone forever. This is all your fault. My fault? Why you? You, 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 you. Madam, if I may be so bold, too much excitement is bad for the old. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Change me back at once. I command it. I demand it. Do you hear me? Oh, dear me. It seems our country is without a queen. Oh, that will never do. My dear princess, you are next in succession. As royal prime minister, I hereby declare you queen of the land. Yay! Yay!